Well, hello everybody. It is the start of a new vlog and we are in a different location today because we are at Cotmanthorpe in York. We're just on a kitchen, well, kitchen and utility renovation at the moment. So we've ripped out all the doors that were in place. So there's three doors we've ripped out. We've changed them to a pocket door, so there's been quite a lot of work. The lintels have been put in above so the block work can be propped and everything else. Pocket doors are in, we've re-plasterboarded and we are now today on with skimming the walls and ceilings. So we're on with that here at the moment, get the kitchen ready to be fit for next week. The lads are out at Harrogate, we've got quite a lot going on there at the moment. So they're again boarding up, the plasterers are there getting their bits done, getting started from the top floor in a second, working our way down. We've got the plumbers there, fitting the bathroom suites now in the first plot, um, and getting us ready on the first fix for the ground floor, and then that'll be done this week. And we've also got the kitchen fitter in this week, fitting the kitchen on the smaller plot next door as well. <laughs> So today I'm on with, uh, well, Steve last week, he took coving down, so I'm taking all like that stuff off that sticks the coving to the roof and ceiling, so we can plaster this. Uh, and then I'm going to go around PVA in it all ready for the plaster to be able to stick to it, because you can tell it's already been plastered. Um, and then I'm going to try and get that light down somehow. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you in about 10 minutes, is that alright? Yep, cheers, thank you. Hello, mate. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. What's a little acorn? It's a shop in Cotman's Highly recommended. Quite cheap, I'd say. But it's an amazing food. Only a little shop, it's on the main road. I'm going to get some million, millionaire crispy snackers. They're mint. So. The lads are wanting ice creams. So we come in, they normally have it in the corner. No, it freezes empty, so it must be off. But we panic it, I thought, oh no, they're not going to have some. Luckily, they have some in the back. So, down 16 quid, secured food, and Liam's water. I thought it'd be funny and get a massive one. Um, we're now off the little acorn to get my food because I've got nothing in at all of the food. So I'm going to get some food, head back. So that's what we've got. Ham and cheese toasty with crisps. No salad because, yeah, salad's for the profits. <laughs> there you go. You know what's funny? I bet that was only about a pound fifty, wasn't it? Exactly pound fifty, but exactly that. it's the same as a small one. You know the flavoured ones, stuff in like small ones. The same price. I could take lid off and live in that, Jay. You're literally in Liam's house. Literally. That's his new... Uh, Liam and the giant bottle. <laughs> like James and the giant peak. So we've got a funny story to tell you. Oh, oh here we go. So you know you, you go into co-op and mm -hmm. you and then your left hand side is where the, all ice creams are. Mm -hmm. They weren't there. <laughs> None of them were the thing was shut down. No, no ice cream. But they went back luckily. So I had oh, to buy you a fucking keep bag. Them cool. ah. Keep them cool. Keep them cool. Got choice. an ice bag as well. Go back. You have a choice of uh, double magnums. Ooh. It'll stop the plaster drying really fast. And then we can have a nice, nice, nice smooth coat, can't we? That good enough? <laughs> You've got to try to explain what you're doing today. All oh, right, what I'm actually doing, yeah. PV in. <laughs> uh, angle bead drought window. Skimming it all. Ceiling, wall, little bits around here that obviously they're going to get boxed. This is getting boxed with obviously units, but I'm still going to plaster it all. Make it look nice. And then, uh, yeah, scrim tape up before we do it. Probably another coat of PVA, because that's drying pretty quick. Yeah, have this done. Look mint. Look mint. <laughs>
as you'll probably tell, I'm just out at Commonthorpe job. The lads are inside, they're just prepping up for plastering and then they're going to get that last room plastered today. So it's a utility done, which means then the kitchen and the utility can be fit. So we're well underway here, which is very good. I am just going to head out over to Harrogate. Gully is with the lads have not been there for a few days. Just see where we're at of progress and what needs doing and what the lads are on with. Everybody, it is Thursday. Oh, hang on, what day? Thursday, the 16th. Just on my way up to Harrogate. Now, I've just been to look at a job uh, up near Thirsk, actually. So it's a little bit further than we normally go, but it's just in there Thirsk. But it is a very interesting job. So I need to quote that one and have a look at that. But it could be a, a very interesting job for us. So fingers crossed if we get the right price or the right quote. Um, that could be a job that we'd uh, be interested to film so keep your eyes on that for that one so yeah i'm just on my way to harrogate now i am just going down some absolutely horrific roads so just bear with me because there's a lot of potholes so you might see me flinching a bit just in case there's cars coming opposite way um, and as well like a dummy i've left my microphones at home so apologies if this part of the content is not the best audio quality sorry my fault uh, so I'm just going to to Harrogate, I am going to look at the bathrooms, uh, now the tiling has been done, I'm not going to mention any names because I really like the guy, but the tiling has been done, uh, and I've been back a few times now to sort it out because it's not quite up to standards, <laughs> and it's still not quite there, so I am going to go take care of that myself, and I just wanted to let you know of that because, just to prove that sometimes things don't go our way, so I'm going to spend my time sorting that out and making that look exactly as it should so that'll be me for today liam and jay are out at the job at commonthorpe and they are fitting the kitchen now because all the plastering has been done so they're fitting the kitchen now and we've got dan and a few of the other lads out at harrogate already so i will go see them now see how they're getting on and make sure that everyone's happy keep the morale high hopefully so that's me for thursday we've got our next job, well, hopefully Harrogate will be complete in five to six weeks-ish, I think. Um, we are running slightly behind on that um, due to a few things, really. The weather on the roof, obviously this year has been horrific. Um, and certain other things, things have been changed, stuff that's out of our control. Um, so that's by the by, but we'll still endeavour to get it done as quickly as possible. Once we're done at Harrogate, we're then heading over to a, another job over at Heweth, which will be starting very soon, to be honest, because I've got the bricklayers going over there soon, because they might as well be there while we're finishing off Harrogate, getting set up in the foundations um, and getting started on the brickwork. So that will be our next job that we're on to. And I've got a couple of other things in the pipeline as well that may well be done on evenings and weekends if the lads are up to it but that's up to them so we'll see what happens with that we'll see how they plan out bumpy roads Harrogate Council you need to sort these roads out um, so yeah we'll see what happens with that I'll give the lads a choice whether they want to do it if not it looks like they'll be doing it on my own but we'll see oh no bloody roads closed as well god damn it I hope you're sorting them potholes out So it is Thursday the 23rd of May. I am out of the job at Commonthorpe. We've got Liam and Jay just in there finishing off the kitchen bits because, well, actually, the uh, work top guys were supposed to come today. They haven't arrived yet and it is nearly two o'clock. So whether they're coming out, we don't know, but we'll be ready for them. Um, because they are being fit on the third, so obviously there's a bit of a turnaround time. So the lads are just finished off the kitchen, um, which means then we can get on with the floor and the doors as well. 
We've still got lads at Harrogate. Yes, we're still out at Harrogate. Um, so we're still out at Harrogate. We've got the lads finished off the boarding, ready to skim next week. So hopefully by the end of next week, everything will be skimmed. Got the electricians and the plumbers finishing off the first fix on plot two, and they are finished off the second fix on plot two A. We've got Dan there, um, the Bricklane apprentice. He's just filling in all the little holes in the um, pointing up. So he's doing that. Um, other than that, it's been a busy week. Uh, I've been floating about quite a lot this week, but other than that, I think we're good. It's just literally, it's just literally stood in bannies like that. Got a red box in that looks not one. Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, they're all a bit big. We'll go help him. Come on. Don't get a sunk on just because you can't find drill bits. <laughs> it's a brand new box. I bear in mind, I thought this van would have been empty yeah. last night or this morning, but we came straight here. Why didn't you empty it last night? Didn't well, you shouldn't you need to start empty on a night, because otherwise it doesn't get done, it ends up like this. No, nothing in there. A few moments later. There you go. Oh, my knees will do. Okay, you get a sulky face on when he has a little telling off, look. Takes it personally. Oh, Alan Gate. Keep looking for Christmas. It. Yeah, get that in the van. Get all the shit in the van and get empty tonight. So, what we're doing is we've got some grey panelling, which is here. So, obviously, inside there, you'll already seen there's like a, a boiler covering, but obviously, they don't make a unit that'll fit that. So sent us, Aldens have sent us a load of grey carcassing, or should we say larder unit panels. So we're going to make the inside of that area out of these. So I'm doing now, I've just measured up. Got my little measurement there, which is tiny like me. So I'm going to get that done. And I'm going to get set up and you'll see me cut it. Oh. Ta da So what you'll normally find on these larder units, they're slightly damaged. Just because they're so big, see that? We've had quite a few of them like this, but luckily, I'll cut that end off. You won't see it, but just like to check everything, because now it works, get it cut, get it fit, and then you're like, ah, that's hanging off. That's face. Just so I don't forget, I don't think I can spell face anymore. I think I got it right. So just short of 1420, do it 1419, 40, yeah, about there. Lovely. It's gonna be really, really nice. You know what, Lee buys a cordless Makita and the cordless Makita one, it's only 700 quid. Don't 
dust everywhere. You can tell I'm in deep concentration here, can't you? Like, super deep concentration. We used to, before these were even out, all you used to do was get your level, mm. put, put your level across, put your clamp on, obviously measure the distance between that and the blade. It's just to run down the side, because the level's obviously straight. Mm. But these are far better. You still get all the chips where this rubber edge is supposed to stop any of the chips. It's supposed to, anyway. I think the blades come loose. I think blades come loose, mate. Yeah, I was, it was just spinning then. What was that? Against not going all the way through. Curving blade, won't it? Pulling against Ryan. Yeah. Well, there we go. Ready, ready. It's like Tom Daly here. Feet, feet, bolster. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody, please don't forget do like and subscribe, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time.